Okay, um, the next lot, part C, the instructions are to solve the equations by simplifying or collecting like terms first. So we're looking for like terms. Okay, so we can simplify. 5 take away 2 is 3x plus 8 is equal to 26. Okay, so now we're back to the same thing, adding or subtracting. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. Okay, so did I do it wrong? Yeah, no, that's plus and that's minus. 3x is going to be equal to 18. Now multiplying or dividing, we're going to be dividing by 3. So x is equal to 6. And that's our answer. Number 2. Part C, number 2, 55 minus 3x minus 2x is equal to 10. Okay, so they're both negative, so this is going to be a negative 5, negative 5 x plus 55 is equal to 10. Need to minus 55 for both sides. So this is how we get rid of it. And this is how we put it over yonder. Left with on the left hand side negative 5x is equal to negative 45. Be super careful with the signs, girls. And now I've got a negative 5 stuck to the x, so the opposite is to divide by a negative 5. So x is equal to 9. Number 3. Two x plus five. Two x plus five minus ten x plus eleven equals zero. Okay. So we're just going to deal with our like terms first. I've got more negatives than positives, so this is going to be a negative. 8x and our constant are like terms as well so that'll be plus 16. Don't get concerned about that zero at all girls we're gonna have a number for it right away because we need to subtract 16 from both sides. So we're just gonna zero minus 16. Okay. So this is going to give us a negative 8x is equal to negative 16. And we need to divide both sides by negative 8. Remember, if this is negative, we need to divide by a negative. So x is equal to 2. And that's our answer. And number four. Number four. Three plus four x plus five x 
is equal to 21. Okay. Let's collect our collectibles. 4 and 5 is 9x plus this 3, not forget there's a plus sign, is equal to 21. So now we're going to be starting out with subtraction. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that. 21 less 3 is 18. Now we need to divide both sides by 9. And then of course our variable is positive. And our answer is 2. Number 5. We got 56 is equal to 6x plus x plus 14. Okay, so the like terms are over on this side now, which is fine. 6 plus 1 is 7x plus 14. I would go ahead and just leave that where it is. I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. It would be more work to move the 7x over just to put it on that side when we don't need to. Okay, so this time we got rid of it over here. We're left with 7x, 42. And now we just need to divide both sides by 7. So 6 is equal to x. That's okay. And does this lead keep breaking because it's old? Okay, number six. 61 is equal to negative 8x plus 6 minus 3x. Those are our like terms. So they're both negative, so this is going to be negative 11x plus 6. And we're going to have to minus 6 from both sides. 61 less 6 is equal to negative 11x. So this will stay negative for a minute. And that's going to give us 55. And now we just need to divide by a negative 11. So that's going to be equal to our positive x, but this will be a negative 5. And that's that block. We'll come back with the next one.